Hello friends and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these times of unrest. Our world is so filled with darkness. Friends, we need a little bit of light and there's no better place to find illumination than in the precious word of Almighty God. Today I invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word and turn with me over to Psalm number 61, a beautiful word from God. Listen to it. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert or the refuge of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Friend, I want to bring to you a thought that is titled The Higher Rock. You know, no doubt in David's life, my friend, he had had some troubled times. And whenever he would find himself going through those troubled times, the first thing he would do was cry out to God. Notice the very first verse. He says, hear my cry. Now, friend, that's really getting down to business with God. And I feel like that's what we need to do right now is we need to just really get down to business with God and really cry out to God to help us to overcome all of these dark times and all of this sickness. David said, hear my cry, O God, and attend to, unto my prayer. In other words, hear my cry. And Lord, answer my prayer. And then he goes on in verse 2 to say, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. Now you stop and you think about that for just a moment. You think about how far it is to go all the way around this world. David basically says, All the way around this world, God, I will cry unto thee. Now listen to what he says. When my heart is overwhelmed. Well, friend, we're living in overwhelming times right now. I see a lot of posts and hear people talk and they'll, they'll say to me, Preacher, I'm just so overwhelmed that I don't know what to do. I, I don't know if I can do anything else. Well, friend, cry unto the Lord. It says, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Friend, Jesus is the rock and he's so much higher than we are. Too many times we try to attend to our own problems and take care of things ourselves. Friend, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your understanding, but trust in him. He is the rock that is higher than you. And then he goes on to tell us about that rock. He says, you're a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. Uh, I'll abide in your tabernacle. I want to stay in your house forever. I'll trust in the refuge of your wings, the covert, the refuge of your wings. Uh, whenever I read that verse of scripture, I got to thinking about the old mother hen that my granddaddy used to have. Us boys would like to pick at her just a little bit. And whenever she'd had those little bitties, we'd run up like we were going to get one of those little bitties. And she'd just uh, hover over the little bitties and just place her wings down on the ground, providing protection for those little uh, chicks. And friend, let me tell you something. That's the kind of God we serve. He will uh, hide us. Uh, he is the rock higher than us. He'll hide us in the hollow of his hand. And verse 5 says, For thou, God, has heard my vows. Uh, you've given me the heritage of those that fear or respect thy name. 
you'll prolong my life uh, with many generations. Uh, he shall abide before God forever. In other words, David says, I'm going to abide before God forever. Friend, let me tell you something. We need to abide before God forever. Uh, prepare mercy and truth that will preserve me. And uh, then he closes out by saying, I'll sing praise to thy name forever. Friend, if it's ever been a time that we need to praise God, it's today. Uh, he will provide his shelter because he is the rock that is higher than I. Now, I don't know about you, but this psalm really blesses my heart. Whenever I look at it, I see the need to pray. Whenever I look at it, I see the need to trust during overwhelming times. When I look at it, I see somebody that is much higher than me. Jesus is the rock that is higher than we are. And friend, we need to trust in him, pray to him, cry out to him during these times of darkness, during these times of unrest, during these times of disease. Friend, cry out to God because he is the one who can help you through these times. Now, I don't know about you, but this psalm encouraged me today. And I certainly pray that it has encouraged you as well. And friend, if you've been encouraged today, take the time to encourage someone else because there's people hurting out there. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful psalm that reminds us of who you really are. You are the rock that is higher than I. And God, we thank you for being the rock of our salvation and God, we pray, God, your blessings on us and our lives as we try to live for you on this side of eternity. Help us, O oh Lord, and hide us in the shadow, uh, Lord, of thy precious hand. Uh, as the psalmist said in Psalm 61, be that refuge for us, because God, truly you are. God, uh, we need you now during these troubled times. God, we pray for the... Uh, demise of this terrible virus that's infecting our land. We pray for the demise of the many diseases that are carrying uh, people away from this place. And God, we pray for the salvation of those that are lost. Lord, help us be encouraged today from your precious word. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you found a little bit of encouragement in this today. And remember, do your best to encourage someone else today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.